right, guys, I'm Kyle. This is Move with Rhino. All right, so this year at NAB, the coolest thing I saw wasn't any product, gadget, or gizmo. It was something called Fein Tracker. I've never used After Effects in my life, and this made it seem like I could actually use it. it takes about 20 seconds to track any object or camera movement in a scene. We're gonna show you how to use it. We're gonna go to Stadium High School. We're gonna do a simple reveal of the high school, and instead of tracking a person, we're gonna be tracking the camera movement, so we're actually able to put the text and keep it stationary on the high school as we reveal. Let's see what it looks like. Hey guys, it's Ed. So this week we're gonna switch it up a little bit and we're gonna be doing, showing you guys how to do some post-production and not just the shot itself. Um, as you guys noticed in the video, the title was tracking on the stadium high school and then it was behind the foreground object, which would be the, the pillar or the column. So we're gonna show you guys how to do that actually in After Effects. I'm not the best at After Effects, I actually just got into it, but uh, I'll try my best to show you guys how we did it and how I learned it. So after you import the clip into Premiere and create a new composition, you wanna go to Effects and Presets, uh, Fay in, drag it over onto your clip, Yes, and it's gonna, you're gonna see a little window pop up over here. It's really awesome, and I'll show you how it works. So first, we wanna go to the end of this clip because we wanna put the title here. So what we do is we go here, add track, and this window, second window pops up. This is really simple. So first, we're gonna be doing uh, rectangle or masking. We're gonna use the rectangle one for this purpose because it's a lot simpler and we're dealing with a building. Masking is for if you have a face or if you want to mask a certain object, you can use it essentially like a paintbrush. But for now, we'll use the rectangle tool. We'll draw out our rectangle onto the building. Okay, after that, it's gonna ask if it's uh, static or if it's moving. Um, we're gonna be, it's static, so this is building, it's not moving. So if you're using a car or any, a person, you definitely want to use the other one. After Fayin is done tracking uh, your rectangle, what you're gonna wanna do is import the image that you wanna use. So for this purpose, we're gonna use an image, but you can actually um, create text within Adobe After Effects, or you can actually even work dynamically between Photoshop. So if you have a logo you're working on or some kind of title or text, you can actually import that project file straight into Adobe After Effects and it'll pick up everything that you're working on. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, to make it simple, we're just gonna import an image, which is gonna be the Move with Rhino image that we already have, the PNG file. So we'll get that image, import it. After that, you're gonna wanna click the Fain placeholder on the bottom that we have, and then you're gonna wanna hold the Alt key, drag Move with Rhino into the Fain placeholder that was created. And then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna adjust the ratio of the current placeholder? Uh, so that it matches the ratio of the new content, you're gonna wanna hit yes. Now, if you look at the screen, you scrub through, you're gonna have your logo, your image, perfectly uh, tracking on the building. So to, have, to fix this problem and mask this, these words behind this pillar, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this clip, the Stadium High School Reveal clip, and then paste the new clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a mask. So create a mask, go to pen tool. It's really simple. We're just gonna create a mask of this pillar outline right here. Go all the way down. And you have to be sure to remember to go all the way around the clip too, not just the actual side. Connect it. And now if you notice, you can kinda see what we had before. But the problem is you see this disconnect here and it doesn't look clean. You want it to look real and actually be behind the foreground object. Go open this clip where we just masked, hit mask. We're gonna drop a keyframe right where it says mask path. Drop a keyframe. We're gonna go little by little and we're gonna move this over so it matches properly, little by little. So just to recap, you basically use the pen tool 
you basically trace out the outline of the object that you want it to be behind and then you drop keyframes and you go frame by frame and you make it uh, adjust as you scrub the video. But if you look closely, um, it's a little bit sharp on the part where it says Rhino and you want to blend a little better. So what you could do is you go to the mask feather right below where it says mask uh, path. And what you can do is you can feather it out a little bit. So if you notice, if you do it all the way, it's kind of behind there, opacity goes down. Um, but you don't want it to be too, you want it to be just like right there. That looks pretty good. And you zoom out, it's coming right around that pillar, masked pretty well. Essentially, that's how you use Fain to get a perfect track and then use the mask tool to get those text or titles behind the foreground object or any object that uh, you desire. All right, guys, thanks for watching this week's episode of Move with Rhino. Please comment, subscribe, let us know what you want to see. We'll see you next week.